What's up, everybody? Fravis here with another episode of Magic Duels Battle for Zendikar, and we are going to play some versus matches. Now, I have been uh, tinker tiddling, tiddy, tiddy tinkering. I've been messing around with a few other, a few other. Oh, did that not? Did that not happen? Okay, nice. One. Come on, come on, Chris Pratt. Don't, uh, don't fail me now. <clears throat> Uh, I've been messing around. I, I've been playing both uh, the the AI and and a few other regular matches. I, I've tried not to. I kind of want to do a little, you know, like ladder climb thing. So I mean, I kind of got up to rank ten, and I think I'm gonna leave it at there. And I'm and whenever I, I tinker with the deck, I think I'll just do that against the AI, so it doesn't affect my rank. So then I can always record uh, my, my ladder climbing. But I don't know. I nothing nothing's really set in stone right now. So screw it. Ah, <clears throat> oh, man. Lazy day. Day after Thanksgiving right now for me. I guess, what's that, Black Friday? I'm not going outside. Not, not out of that shit. Oh, I'm rank 11. Never mind. My bad. I said rank 10. It ain't rank 10. This is... Uh, one creature. One creature, two lands. I don't like this. This is a little better. Still one creature, but it's a better creature. I have no plays. Ugh. Oh boy, I don't know how I feel about unnatural aggression. It's kind of a, it, it's. Ugh. I mean, I'll keep it. I, I, I mean, I don't know. They play first and everything. This looks really dangerous. I'm I'm gonna I'm actually already top decking. So that's that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty close to getting Zenicar's Royal online. This is one of the main reasons I kept this, even though it had uh, technically one creature. This is a this is like a multiple creature card. So hopefully this will. Come on, don't do that to me. All right, good. Jeez. This game. Sometimes it doesn't like pausing, and I if I don't do it right away, I'm just totally fucked. Ugh, another Zendikar's Royal is probably a bad thing in this situation. I don't. All, I mean, I love having two of these out. That's like super cool. But the problem now is I, I have no plays up until turn five. Oh, and he's got a Chandra out already. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I'm in some trouble, guys. I mean, it's really... It, honestly, it's my own fault. I probably should have mulliganed. Probably should have hung on. Because I have no plays. I have nothing to do until turn five. And usually, I mean... When I play normal games... Like, when I play modern and shit, you got no turns by turn five. You're dead on turn six, you know? You're just done. It's finished. But, hey... Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. This isn't modern. This is a weird, different kind of format. Not that I don't like this format. I love this format. I don't love this format. That's a lie. But I don't hate this format. Sorry if I'm a little hoarse. I'm actually a bit sick right now. Just a tiddly, winky sit. You're going to twin bolt my face? Oh, oh no, I understand. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And now you have a fucking planeswalker who's going to do two damage to me. That's a lot of goddamn damage, man. That is a lot of damage. Alright, so we are up against a red deck wins deck, but not a very aggressive one. Although it did just do a ton of damage to me. But then again, you know, it's turn three and I've done nothing. <laughs> you know? Usually, I'm supposed to have done something. That's not so bad. Uh, I'm gonna play this first. Yeah, alright, you can tap that way, that's okay. I'm gonna play this first. See what this can get me. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, it's not okay, really. It's it's okay. Oh, yeah. It'll it'll get me there. It's good enough. I'm gonna play Zenikar's Royal next turn first because I really need those creatures, very very badly. He may choose to kill my my one one here. I don't know. Because it's going for his his planeswalker right now. There's no way I'm sending that to his face. No, he doesn't give a shit. He's going straight for me. Yeah, actually, he can win the game just as it is. He's going to try to kill this guy. I will save it. Plus three. Do it, baby. Do it, baby. And then at least I can do one damage to the guy. Uh, five lands. It's probably going to be... No, I mean, it's going to be a Zenikar's Royal first. Gotta get rid of that thing. One damage to the face means nothing. One damage to that to that Chandra. That's gonna mean a lot more to me. <clears throat> the other option I have is uh, Territorial Bailiff. 
Let me think about this, actually. Let me think about this. The Bailiff might actually be a better play. It might be? Shit. Bailiff or Royal? Because Royal, next turn, I'll kill one of his lands and I'll put a 2-2 two -two out. Bailiff just gets me the beast. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to get the beast out. Got to do it. Ugh. Don't know how I feel about this, but it's probably the right move. That'll get rid of his planeswalker, maybe, unless he's got another creature out. It's kind of, it's gonna, yeah, there's another creature. Not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot of damage to me. What is that? Three damage? Ugh, God. I don't see how I'm gonna survive this. Uh, unless I get a land. If I get a land, I might be okay, because then I can unnatural ag uh, aggression. And then take care. Oh, that's not a land. Fuck. Actually, this costs four. This costs four. Oh, God, man. This is real brutal. Real fucking brutal. Let's pop one of his lands. Let's get a land out. Let's get a 6 6 in play. Swing that 6 6 at his planeswalker. Probably gonna get blocked. So let's just at least do one damage to it. Oh man. He didn't stop it. He let that through. Maybe I shouldn't have swung with the 1-1. Uh, one, one. I really thought he was gonna block the 6-6. Six, six, but he might have me. I mean, if he does four damage to me, I'm dead. He doesn't even need to do that, actually. Call the full moon. That's it. That does it. Good game, man. Yeah, well, I, I had Trample anyway, didn't Oh, he had two of them. <laughs> that was useless. He already had the game. He already had the game. You know, I knew that was a loss from the hand that I kept, and I really shouldn't have kept it. Just just too slow. Just, it was a silly hand to keep, and I did it anyway, so really it's my only fault. I feel like I could have uh, played that uh, deck, or against that deck. I could. That should have been a win, is what I'm trying to say. I feel like I could have been okay, but... Um, I just I just kept a stupid bad hand. And it's because of the lands. I saw those extra lands. I was like, mmm, that looks good. And I'm like, no, no, it's not good. It's not good at all. But he had it whether I kept that uh, Elvish Visionary back or not. That made no difference. It wouldn't have been a chump blocker. He had, like, the trample and, and a plus six, I guess, on the guy. Whatever. Uh, this is almost a different story. I have a retreat to Kazandu. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna mull. All right, that's much better. This, I, this I can handle. This is a deck. Or this is a hand. This is a starting hand right there. Plus, I got Swell of Growth, so I'm gonna have one heck of a nice little trick. Uh, another card that I am not, cons not really sure if I want to keep or not. Swell of Growth. It's uh, sometimes it's pretty awkward. Sometimes it really is just a plus two, plus two for two, and because I don't have a lot of. Uh, I mean, I don't have that many lands in hand. It works pretty well after I cast this uh, for its spell mastery cost. So here I usually have, like, two land cards in my hand. I'll play one of them, have another stuck in my hand, and then I can get rid of it with uh, Swell of Growth instead. But whatevs, you know, just deal. Just deal. And I don't mind if I do. Drop another one. Sort of like ramping. <laughs> sort of. Next turn, I'll have four. Hitting him for five here, which is a super nice swing on turn two. <laughs> five damage on turn two, not bad. Uh, can't keep that up, of course. I'm, I'm like down half my hand, but that's that should be okay because if I grab. I, actually, no, I do have Zenikar's Royal uh, in play. I, I need. What I need actually is a. a sorcery or an instant. That way I can cast Nissa's Pilgrimage with uh, uh, with Spell Mastery. Oh, that actually works too. Yeah, 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 no problem. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's go. Come on. Come on, Toshi. In fact, there's not really any need. Oh, yeah, no, I do need to drop. No, I don't need to drop that. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking whether or not I need to crack my Evolving Wilds. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'm going to leave it right there. Yep, I'm going to leave it there. So next turn, I will have... 
I'll put down this forest and have five. Oh, it won't make a difference, huh? Actually, it won't make a damn difference. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. I'll hold, I'll hold on to it. It will make a difference because then I can save cracking the evolving wilds for an extra land drop if I ever need it. So if he if he wants to hit it this thing this guy with a uh, twin bolt like that he needs to send two of them towards him like that he just fucked up, boom, evolving wilds, ha <laughs> ha, and that's why you don't crack the evolving wilds. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, looks like my guy's okay. You just wasted your turn. Sorry, dude. Oh, that's gotta that's gotta hurt, man. Got to do this pre-combat so I get the uh, plus one plus one on my on my Scythe Leopard. Normally, Scythe Leopard is kind of a meh card, but in this landfall deck, it, it gets a little more aggressive, and I really like that about him. It almost runs like a red, like a really aggressive red deck if you get that Scythe Leopard out early enough, and you just have the consistent pumps and uh, land drops. Like I actually cut Slab Hammer from this deck, even though I think it might work okay because. I mean, Slab Hammer on the Scythe Leopard doesn't hurt at all, man. I mean, you just keep dropping it down. But it does slow down my land uh, my land ramp. It, it really kills my progression, and that's kind of why I cut it. <coughs> because on turn 5, I want 6 lands, or more than 6 lands, you know? I might want 7 lands. And with Slab Hammer, it always it, it sort of stabilizes. I, I play 1 land, draw 1 land, play 1 land. Or, or pick up one land, play one land, pick up another land. So my land doesn't increase as the turns go on, and sometimes I really do need those lands uh, later, and I don't want to just hold them all back. Oh, it's complicated. Or maybe I'm just making it sound complicated. Maybe it's very simple and you understand exactly what I'm saying, and I'm just rambling right now. Well, I'm being somewhat aggressive here. The guy's not really doing a whole lot over there. He's just sort of... I, I guess he's mana fucked or something. He did try killing my Scythe Leopard. That would have that would have slowed down my damage. But he just hasn't really done anything beyond that. Let me, let me see what, what, what has he played again. Uh, a little bit of ramp, a wall, the Twin Bolt that did one damage to me. Not much. He really hasn't done much. He's just sort of been playing lands. I'm still not sure about un unnatural aggression uh, either. I kept it in here because it's one of my favorite. Uh, it's not my favorite. It's one. It's a decent answer to flyers. Hmm. This is interesting. Interesting. I can actually kill that if I wanted to. Huh. <sighs> Well, first of all, I'm going to play this. Do I want to play this? It's either this or a natural aggression, and all right, I'm not. I'm not going to pay. I'm not going to play the other one. All right. Got a bunch of creatures down. Bibbity bobbity boo. Let's see where he goes with this. where he goes. Okay, fine. You, you. Smack him for two, and the three will kill him. I will lose my three three, which is okay. Good job, Scythe Leopard. You've done your best. But at least that thing won't go renowned. At least that thing won't be some kind of a, a pump beast for him. And I'm somewhat wide. Actually, not sure if I should have done that. He could have uh, I the the other option was to give Rogue's Passage to my to my Scythe Leopard, make sure that three would have gone in. I would have hit him for one more damage, so he'd be at four, and then I would also have my Scythe Leopard still in play. Yeah, oh this does jack shit. Oh okay, well you need a you need a blocker. He also needs a blocker for this. Twin Bolt will kill one of them. Okay. That's a pretty desperate play. I guess he's got no creatures in hand. And that's game anyway. Boop. Boop. That's it. Goodbye. That's a lot of damage. 
Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think uh, I, th I don't think I should have killed that 4-4 uh, because I don't give a shit if it gets renowned. It doesn't have vigilance. Did it have vigilance? I don't think it did. I think it exiled. Yeah, no, that thing did not have vigilance, so I really shouldn't have actually bothered because if he wanted to swing in, which I don't think he would have, he would have just blocked 1-2-2 two, two if I had given uh, if I given my Scythe Leopard a uh, the unblockable. And who cares about that? I would have still won. Whatevs. I'll try to remember that for next time, you guys. All right, last game. Last game. Let's get this going. <coughs> oh, God. Mm, just dying here, man. We're all dying. Oh, man. Everybody's getting sick. Well, they already got sick, actually. And now I'm the last one to get sick. I don't understand, man. I don't go outside. That's not true. I go outside all the time. I love hiking. But it's these dinguses, this freaking brother-in-law of mine. And not that I mind him. I love him, but he's just... <laughs> not, not, not the, not the smartest peanut in the turd, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Coughs into his hand, grabs everything, shakes hands, you know, touches everything. He's just a typical old 18-year-old. Typical 18-year-old. Love him though. He's a good kid. Cool guy. All right, let's let's see if this is uh, this is this is doable. I, I can I can make something work. Uh, I'm I'm really considering. I I put in. <laughs> Unnatural aggression as an answer to flyers and things up in the air, just something that I can that can give me a little bit of board control because as is, I have like no board control. The, I mean, the most board control I have is literally the acid moss and maybe the primal bellow if you count that as a removal. But like, what good is that, honestly? And I mean, the fact that it gets exiled rather than just killed, does that matter? Does it, is it really an issue? I don't know. All right, we're up against Golgari elves. Don't really care about Golgari elves. I think I'm. I think I'm better off than them. Why did I do that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see if he wants to trade. Holy shit! I didn't. Put, I didn't. Oh wow. He doesn't. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, dude, because I'm a complete idiot, and you totally could have traded with that damn, damn thing, and I totally could have hit you. Brought you down to 18, but I'm a complete moron because I forgot how land ball works momentarily. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, there he goes. Uh, do I want to save him? Sure. Let's save him. Let's save him. Why not? Keep him around a little later. Go ahead and egg him. Oh, boy. Unnatural aggression. Do I care? I just don't know. I just don't think I do. I think I want to dump on natural aggression. I think that's. I think that's something that I'll do. Alrighty. I want to do that first. Hmm. I could hit Anissa. I have the Acid Moss next turn anyway. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be crazy. I might be able to clear his board here. If he chooses to block... Do you wanna block? He does, holy shit. All right, unnatural aggression. Boom. Board clear. <clears throat> All gone. Is it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know if that was a good play. I have no idea. I could have just hit Nissa's Pilgrimage, pumped him up to a 3-3 uh, a three -three instead. Maybe that was a better play. Maybe I should have hung on to my unnatural aggression. I really don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so he's ramping. Rampity pampins. I'm gonna knock him down with the Acid Moss. He doesn't have any actual like threats to me. So I'm gonna bring him down a shot because if his best, if his best move was to put down a, a gatekeeper vine, then I might be better off just not, uh, not putting down any creatures at the moment. I, I don't know what he has in his hand, honestly. I mean, he's running an elf deck, but he's putting down gatekeeper vines instead of elves. It's kind of throwing me off. What does that even do? Who cares, right? It's just an elf. Exile from your graveyard. He gets three throw. Kill the four four. Nice. Not bad at all. Okay, this is another way to go. 
And I think we'll do it. Retreat. Shit, I'm gonna miss this, though. Um, Alright, well, I'll gain a life, or two life. And actually, you think he's got removal for this girl? You think he'll take her out? All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <laughs> That was a bit risky. Don't know if I should have done that. That could have been another misplay. He's only down to three cards, or uh, three lands. He doesn't have the most threatening things on, on the field. I mean, a bone splinters would scare me. What's he bringing back? Which one? What did you decide? What the fuck? I didn't, it didn't tell me which one. Doesn't it show? Oh, no, because it didn't go in hand. It went, Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, uh. Okay, so it, it took out his 2-2. Two -two. The 2-2 two -two one. Alright, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I guess that's it, right? Is he wondering whether or not to swing? He shouldn't. <laughs> that would be dumb. Zendikar's Royal. That'd be sweet, huh? Holy shit. See, I can't actually swing in right now. Yeah, and I'm not going to. I, I, I can't pump. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. No, I'm not. Forget it. All right, gain two. That's fine. Gain two. If if I had control over this game, I would have made uh, I would have made Zendikar's Royal Resolve first, and then put Retreat to Kazandu. And then I would have been able to put a plus one, plus one on the two, two. But fuck it. As it, as it stands, this is fine. Uh, let's see. Do I want to grab? Or do I want to put a creature out? He's going to swing in. I could just put a one, one or a four, four out. What, what would I prefer, honestly? He's going to swing in. Fuck it. Let's get a creature going. Let's get a creature going. Okay. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can do with this. And I have Spell Mastery, right? Yes. Okay, good. So that's going to be plenty of lands, plenty of creatures, plenty of plus one, plus one counters. I should be pretty stable right now. Uh, it's not going to do enough. It's a good card. But it's just not quite enough yet. And uh, as, as far as he's aware, I'm going to have a way larger field than he will. Uh, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Do you have a trick for me? You're out of mana. What in the hell? What kind of an attack was that? Can you clear the board somehow? Why did you do that? What? What, what was that? What? What the hell did I just see there? What? Did he just give up? I... Man, I'm blown away right now. I I don't I don't know what he did. I don't know why he did it. Very strange. All right, let's start pumping this girl up. Uh, that's great. No problem. Don't mind if I do. Drop one of those. Put another plus one on. Let's say this guy. So now I got two four fours. What else do I want to do? Screw it. Let's just keep going. Plus one. Let's just make a bunch of four fours. Let's go. <laughs> I don't want to make them too high. Four fours are fine. Actually, three threes are even better, I think, because. Well, I guess against. No, no. Four is good because in case he has that sorcery, that two two mana sorcery that pump that uh, stops. Whoa! Wait a minute now. Uh, that's a whole lot of free damage for you. Holy shit! Okay. I mean, I could have waited, but I think he's dead next turn. So, why wait? <laughs> why wait? Why not just have good juicy fruit? Mm. Hey, look, there's a creature. Holy cow. You got, all right. You got things. You got things going. Can't do much about this. Yeah, no 
wish I had something a little better than that. Come on. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. And that's game. That is game. I'll show you why, in case you forgot. In case you're not paying attention, you kids, take a look. Here comes this guy. He's bugged in his second ability. Grab Pyramobello. And now I think you understand why this is game. <laughs> swing with... Oh, screw it, just swing with everybody. I'm not going to be able to even him. What you got, son? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because that's game. All right. Mmm. Feels so good. Should have left a green open. Then I would have been scared of... Uh, I would have been scared of... Fog. <clears throat> or some kind of fog effect. I don't know. But he didn't have a good open, so who cares? All right, guys. That'll do it for this episode. Uh, I guess I'll record my, my ladder climbing all the way up. Um, all right. Yeah, hey. That was it. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.